let A be a 3 by 5 matrix. A, write down the elementary matrices which, when multiplied on the left of A, will perform the following elementary row operations. I, subtract 2 times row 1 from row 2. 2, interchange row 2 and row 3. And 3, multiply row 3 by minus a fifth. B, find the matrix E, which, when multiplied on the left of A, will perform all three row operations from part A in all... Well, first, let's understand the problem. What is an elementary matrix? Well, the definition in the book is this. An elementary matrix is a matrix obtained by performing an elementary row operation on the identity. Right, that's what an elementary matrix is. So all I need to do is perform the elementary matrices I'm told um, on the identity and that will do it. But I do need to just check the point is, the point is that I can multiply my elementary matrix on the left of A, so my identity has to be the correct size. So, since A is 3 by 5, so I need to multiply it on the left, which would mean that um, it would have to go like this, I, A, and this is 3 by 5, and so this would have to be by 3, so that these two numbers match, so it would be 3 by 3, so therefore, since A is 3 by 5, this identity is 3 by 3. Excellent. Let me start a new page. So, A part I. Subtract 2 times row 1 from row 2. So, minus 2 times row 1 from row 2. So my new row operation, my row operation is this. My new row 2 is equal to row 2 minus 2 of row 1. And so I just need to do that row operation on a 3 by 3 identity. So the elementary matrix, which I'll call E1, starts with a 3 by 3 identity. and then does that row operation. So my new row 2 is row 2 minus row 1, so let's just focus our attention on row 2. So row 2 minus row 1, 0 minus 1, uh, minus 2 of 1 is minus 2. 1 minus 2 of 0 is 1, 0 minus 2 of 0 is 0, so that's my elementary matrix. Right, part two. So part two is um, interchange row two and row three. So my new row two and row three is my old row three and row two. So my elementary matrix for that would start with the identity. and would interchange row 2 and row 3. Let's see. So I'm interested in row 2 and row 3, and I want to swap them. So I'll rub all that out. 
and I now have 0, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 0. Excellent. Now for part 3. Part 3 is multiply row 3 by minus a fifth. So my new row 3 would be minus a fifth of my old row 3. And so I just do that row operation on the identity. So there's my identity. And then I'm interested in row 3, which is here. And I do minus a fifth of row 3, so minus a fifth of 0 is 0. Minus a fifth of 0 is 0. Minus a fifth of 1 is minus 1 fifth. So that's my elementary matrix. I found all three of the elementary matrices. Let's do part B. B. Well, I had to find the matrix E, which when pre-multiplied by A, um, performs all three row operations from A in order. Well, let's see. To perform the row operations, you multiply on the left. So we start with the matrix A, and then to do the first row operation, I'd multiply by E1. And then to do the second row operation, I'd multiply by E2. And then to do the third row operation, I'd multiply by E3. And they all have to go on the left. Um, and so these three matrices together, without the A, would be my matrix E. OK. So that would be 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus a fifth. And 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. That's E2. And E1 was 1, 0, 0, minus 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. All right. So now I just need to multiply these matrices together. But that may seem like a big task, but it's not because, watch, this matrix just here, E2, performs the row operation swapping row 2 and row 3 on whatever matrix it's multiplied on. So since it's multiplied onto this matrix, the result of multiplying this by that will be to swap row 2 and row 3. So let's do that. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus a fifth. And so the answer to this will be my matrix here. But multiplying by E2 will swap um, row 2 and row 3. So it will become instead 0, 0, 1, minus 2, 1, 0. Excellent. Now let's have a look. This multiplication, this multiplication is this matrix here times this matrix. But the left-hand matrix E3 produces the row operation minus a fifth of row 3 on whatever matrix it's multiplied on. So this uh, uh, multiplication will start with the right-hand matrix. And we'll do the row operation minus a fifth of row 3. So uh, when I do minus a fifth, I'll get minus a fifth of 2, which is, min which is 2 fifths. And minus a fifth of 1 which is minus a fifth and minus a fifth of zero which is zero so that's my final answer